around the rim, there are 300 of them. Um, what you see on your right are modern granaries, yes, in, in place of the old granaries, but behind you, some of them are still old, or some of them we call them zigaches or pukers, yes? Because when it rains, they puke water in harmony, yes? So, you know, when it rains, you see lots of people flocking to this uh, street to record this gorgas uh, uh, in the 17th century. All the houses uh, are lined up, there is no gaps, and of course the details. And the first uh, uh, streets raised from ruins, uh, really. So, then in the 1950s, the government gave the addresses to the institutions, to libraries, uh, to the unions, and what was left was given to amber galleries. Yes, amber galleries to promote amber, the stone from the Baltics. Yes, you guys know that we are the world capital of amber. Very good. <laughs> yes, uh, you haven't been to Lithuania yet. <laughs> they are the world capital. Who <laughs> so, knows? It's the same deposit. Yes, uh, it's a magical. Uh, that's why uh, the Prussians worshipped it, and that's why uh, when the Romans ventured as far to the north, to the city of made history. Johanna Schopenhauer spent uh, 16 years in Italy. She was a teenager when they had to move, then they returned again. So she said in her diary that I was born in a house with a turtle on top. So I slept under a turtle. Yes? And look, at 111, 113 we have a turtle on top. So this was the house of the Schopenhauers. Yes? Johanna Schopenhauer was raised there, but when she got married, she gave birth to her son Arthur Schopenhauer on this street but in another house. The address is, if you look to the west, you see a greenhouse and then behind it about three addresses behind Oh, it's got, got very loud here. So you know, the perimeter, the outside, the outside of this uh, thread wheel is like a crank in a well. Yes, yeah, so people were treading outside and applying their weight because of the force of gravity, which is uh, closely uh, 10 uh, meters by second divided by second square. It's uh, what you could usually lift is what you weigh. Yes, this is your weight. But with the advantage that uh, it was a rotational move, they could lift five times more. So it's one of the simple machines. Yes, very old construction. So they were moving. Yes, inside they were treading. Two men, so all four men were treading. Of course, the cargo that weighed two tons, weighed, uh, weighed, weighed two tons, it needed a nudge from the from the first. You needed to nudge it. Common market. And of course, the old branch is on the other side of the canal. These granaries there, this is a museum from the 1970s for those who are looking for serious stuff, yes, for stuff found in the canals and documents and everything. And of course, um, you cannot but notice the soul deck, this ship that is moored in the canal. It's also a very Polish story, a very interesting. Uh, soul deck was a, a man who was, became a patron of this first ship built in Poland after the war. In 1948, the ship is built in the Lenin shipyard. Yes, and uh, the tradition then was uh, the customs were influenced by Soviet Union. Maybe influence is a light word, yes, we had to follow Soviet uh, traditions. So uh, patrons of ships were chosen amongst the crew, and that was the man who was doing the most work. Yes, Mr. Soldek was the leader uh, of the uh, crew. He did the work of three men there, and people were wondering where he got the strength for it. So he was chosen to be the patron of this first ship built in Poland. Yes, I asked then, you know, a veteran who remembers that time, uh, I asked him how the government explained that uh, tradition, and they said, uh, you know, if you work hard, 
uh, in a communist country, you will never be rich. Yes, because it contradicts communist designer in the Lenin shipyard. So people looked up to him, it's a great success story. Therefore, when he died in 1982, the ship was decommissioned and put in the middle of the port to inspire young people in communist Poland to work hard. Yes, and to this day it stands here, now the last remnant of communism in the center. Yes, so many people who say communism is the ultimate evil, they want the ship out of here. Yes, so take pictures while it stands. Years ago, 90% chance was that where Hilton stands and uh, all these rows of houses, this is where Gdańsk existed. Urbs Gdańsk in the year 997. So let's go to that place. And this is also the old town area. Where the old is called.